Duchess Emily Hillsboro. Duke Manuel Godoy. me. Monsignor, His Eminence Cardinal Piaggi. Monsignor, His Eminence Cardinal Piaggi. President George Washington. Johann von Wulner. Quorum guide. Sir Jacques Perru. Monsieur Napoleon Bonaparte. Duchess Emily Hillsborough. Duke Manuel Godoy. Huh, that's me. Right. So what shall I do with this letter? It might be about my mother's disappearance. But if I open it, I'll be betraying Piaggi's trust. What should I do? Okay, let's see what it contains. Too bad for Piaggi. So, it really is a list of French countrymen. Piaggi wasn't lying. But now it's opened. I better get it to Mother soon. Wow! Nice room! Mortimer sure doesn't do things halfway. Inferno by Dante. Abandon hope, all ye who enter here. Inferno by Dante. 
Abandon hope, all ye who enter here. Lovely lectures Mortimer's giving to his guests. Very jolly. Saturn devouring his son. Saint Jerome and the angel. Yet again. Art with political undertones with an image of a saint hearing voices. Your turn? The servants are not very efficient. Durache can't be far away. They'll find her soon. Their search time is restricted given that they must keep an eye on Adams. I can take care of her, you know. Yes. Well, in any case, I do thank you for bringing her to the island. From what I've understood, the search of Durache's room hasn't turned up any results. Not yet, no. But we've put her son in there. Perhaps he'll find something. Hmm. That might come in handy. Louis grows impatient at not yet having met the famous Lord Mortimer. He will meet him tomorrow. Oh, what a pity. 
pity to lose a knight at the start of the game. Are you waiting for someone? A young French soldier. During our game of chess? Don't worry, Gregory. The game won't disappear. I'll have one of my men escort you back. Don't trouble yourself. I know my way out. Ah, good evening, gentlemen. Please forgive me for this late hour. It is never too late. And we have much to discuss. One last move? Don't worry. Our games always seem to end like this. Or always start like this. Come, come. Take a seat, my friend. Nighttime stroll, Mr. President? There's nothing like it for a good night's sleep. Do not hesitate to ask a servant to show you back. The corridors seem quite safe. Peppermint, lime flower, and valerian. My miracle remedy when one can't get to sleep. A very good night to you, Mr. President. Thank you. And to you too, sir. Coming. Dear Monsieur de Richet, please excuse me, but I am unable to join you at present. Dear Monsieur de Richet. The incredulity of St. Thomas. Why is Caravaggio representing St. Thomas putting his finger in the wound? Thomas looks on, but doesn't touch. Excuse me, am I bothering you? No, not in the least. Is something wrong? I'm going to need your help. Do you remember the young lady we spoke of in the hall? No. What's her name again? Elizabeth Adams. Well, she is the daughter of my friend, the Vice President, John Adams. But she is supposed to be dead. Yeah, that's bizarre. Fair enough. Good heavens! I was present at her funeral. It is disturbing indeed. Yes. I need to make sure it's her. That's where you come in. I want you to distract Elizabeth while I search her room and perhaps get my hands on some important information. At least, I hope so. Elizabeth is in the small salon. If you hurry, you can still catch her. I just need 10 minutes. But if my vision is true, there are two men nearby discussing very important issues, and one of them looks much like Mortimer. Washington is very kind, but I came to this island for my mother, not for his ghost stories. Count on me, sir. Thank you, my friend. Keep Elizabeth downstairs as long as possible. She must not return to her room. Trust me. According to Washington, Lady Adams is in the small salon. I better hurry. Duke Manuel Godoy.
My son. Oh, you are a godsend. What's the matter, Your Eminence? I believe a Miss Adams may be in danger. What do you mean? Do you hear that? She is being manhandled in this small salon. By whom? I don't know exactly. Uh, a thug. A Frenchman, it seems. By the cut of his cloth, I'd say he's a member of the French Revolutionary Government. You should do something, my son. Shit. I was supposed to make sure Adams wouldn't go back to her room. Don't worry, Your Eminence. I'll take care of it. Probably nothing to worry about. Do you want me to call for help? Please don't do anything. I'm sure with a little goodwill, everything will work out fine. Don't go and wake up the whole manor, please. Thank you, my son. May God watch over you. Who do you think you are? Forgive Me, sir. If we were in France, I'd have sent you to the guillotine for what you just said. Please, just let me go back to my room. Hey, you! Stay out of it! This is none of your business. I'm gonna teach this little slut how to behave. What the hell is going on? Huh? I don't think you know who I am. Stop. I beg you. I, I didn't mean to. Don't hit me, please, sir. Shit. Uh, if I step in, Adams might just run back uh, to your room. And if I do nothing, yes, Washington will have enough time to search, but this girl's gonna uh, suffer. Damn it, what should I do? Uh, Let her go! Huh? Stay out of it, boy! Shit. What are you playing at? I told you to mind your own business, boy! If you think you can side with this whore and then just walk away, you're out of your mind. Give me one good reason not to knock you down. <laughs> Sir, you obviously do not know who I am, or you'd keep your distance. Ooh, one more like that and I'm gonna get scared. Don't think you're getting away with it that easily. I'm sick of all these toffs. If we were in Paris, I'd send you all to the guillotine. And on top of it all, a woman telling me how I ought to behave? I won't stand for it! Oh, okay, okay, wait a minute. What? Don't tell me you're gonna defend these harlots! Hold on, let's take a second and think about this. We're not animals, so let's not act like one. I knew you were a panty waste. You make me wanna puke. Okay, you really are an animal. I get the feeling you're trying to put one over on me. If that's the case, you're making a big mistake. Sorry about that. Look, there's no point in us aggravating each other. Let's both just go our separate ways. Don't move. We're not done yet. You wanted to be the knight in shining armor and save the damsel in distress. Let's see how brave you are. Aim true. You only get one shot. At this distance, even a blind man couldn't miss. If you miss, you're a dead man, sir. I'm not in the habit of beating Lord Mortimer's guest in his own salon. You got off easy this time, but don't try it again. Brooch Elizabeth was wearing. Huh. She was so frightened she was unaware that she'd lost it. Yeah, well, it didn't seem to do her much good. Chronicles of the Amber Princess. As I recall, Dork, there's a pattern with five circles on this chest. Hmm. 
There's a pattern with five circles on this chest. Pound. Well, did you get time to search the room? Louis, I only needed ten minutes. Imagine the scandal if she had found me. What would you have done in my shoes? She was in the middle of an argument with some angry guy. Ten minutes? I didn't ask for the moon. Nonetheless, you found what you were looking for, didn't you? Not everything, but yes. Elizabeth is definitely the daughter of John Adams. We need more information. You can always go back. It's too late now. That's not the right way. A few leaves out of an old encyclopedia. The Jacques Perru. What are you doing here? I was worried about you, my son. Uh, how did it go with Miss Adams? Don't worry about that anymore, Your Eminence. I had to step in, but everything's under control. <laughs> what an adventure, my son. <laughs> I am relieved to hear it. You acted as a good Christian. In these troubled times, we need more men of your caliber. It's nothing, Your Eminence. I did what I had to do. Well, you did the opposite. Good. Well, thanks for the news. My son, I have another problem. I wanted to speak to you about something important. Do you still have my letter on you? The one I gave you in the home? Why do you ask? I have a name to add to it. It would have been my pleasure, but I don't have it with me, Your Eminence. Why is that? You remember that I came here to meet my mother. Well, I still haven't found her, and it's beginning to worry me. Given the importance of your letter and not knowing where it all might lead me, I've hidden it. His eminence wouldn't want me to take the slightest risk, would he? Excellent initiative, my son. Uh, but please tell me you haven't simply left it in your room, my son. Don't worry. It is perfectly safe and sound. Certainly, but where? Oh, I'm sorry, but I'm not at liberty to say. The walls have ears here, and I refuse to put any of these people in danger. Give me the name you wanted to add, and I'll pass it on to my mother. Very well. You seem to know what you're doing. Here is the name. Jean-Baptiste Joseph Goebel. 
Don't forget to give this name to your mother, or a good man will end up dead. Are you prepared to trust me, or not? Of course, my son. Have a good night. Exhausted. I better go to bed. I'll search my room tomorrow. If Mother stayed here right before me, you never know. And Mortimer had better show up. vision yesterday, I saw that Mother had this room before me. I'd better search the room. Who knows? Maybe she left me something behind. Writing material. I haven't even had time to unpack my cases. Dear Monsieur de Richet, please excuse me, but I am unable to join you at present. However, rest assured that we are doing all we. Dear Monsieur de Richet, please excuse me, but I am unable to join you at present. The torture of Ixion, condemned by the gods to lose his mind because of his arrogance. Strobe, crosses, must be Piaggi's room. Saint Jerome and the Angel. Yet again, art with political undertones with an image of a saint hearing voices. There's a circle around the lock here. Must be the trunk Mortimer was talking about. The key should open it. There's a note. Effects of Sœur de Richer to be given to her son, Louis. I should probably take it. All right. I've retrieved everything. Oh, 
This bookcase is well stocked. Oh, this book has been put back the wrong way round. A Voyage Around the World, the travel log of the explorer Louis Antoine de Bougainville. One of mother's favorite books. What a coincidence. And I don't believe in coincidences. It's just too much. I don't know what's going on here, but if you felt threatened, I'll bet you'd leave a clue, wouldn't you, mother? Found it. A faint sign of the order, barely visible. Mother, you undoubtedly must have hidden a clue in this book. Let's see if I can find anything else in this room. Oh, I'm not far from solving the puzzle. I must keep searching. Inferno by Dante. Abandon hope, all ye who enter here. Lovely lectures Mortimer's giving to his guests. Very jolly. The torture of Ixion. Condemned by the gods to lose his mind. Nothing. I haven't even had time to unpack my cases. Inspiration of St. Matthew, or Matthew writing his gospel, dictated to him by voices. The incredulity of St. Thomas. Why is Caravaggio represented St. Thomas putting his finger in the wound? Thomas looks on, but doesn't touch. Nothing here. I wouldn't mind a nice, strong coffee, though. Look, markings on the floor. Eh, just a bit worn out. I was hoping to find something leading to a secret passage. Not far from solving the puzzle, I must keep searching. Inferno by Dante. Abandon hope, all ye who enter here. Lovely lectures Mortimer's giving to his guests. Very The Conversion of St. Paul by Caravaggio. It's incredible. It doesn't look Judith beheading Holofernes. Ironic in a way, when you know that the artist represented herself as Judith beheading her mentor. Who had raped her. Look, markings on the floor. Eh, just a bit worn out. I was hoping to find something leading to a secret passage. Inspiration of St. Matthew, or Matthew writing his gospel, dictated to him by voices. Writing material. Writing material. Incredulity of St. Thomas. Why is Caravaggio representing St. Thomas putting his finger in the wound? Thomas looks on, but doesn't touch. Look, markings on the floor. Eh, just a bit worn out. 
I was hoping to find something leading to a secret passage. Oh, I'm not far from solving the puzzle. I must keep searching. Here's something will undermine my botanist appreciation for the local climate. Hmm. Let's recap. My mother was in this room. I found a rare edition of her favorite book. She must have left something behind. She must have used the writing materials. What if she used lemon juice instead? An old trick used to hide messages. A message using invisible ink. I bet she used a limit to leave a message. Now, how do I reveal the message? The message is illegible. I have to keep searching. the message. Let's see what my mother wrote. Where all eyes size you up, you must pass by the Gorgon. Gorgon was the name of Medusa in Greek mythology. On the other hand, where all eyes size you up, I don't get it. And judging by the number of paintings in the manor, could be anywhere. After that, she adds, beware hero. The beast always charges the best protected soldier. And that's its weakness. What is my mother trying to tell me? You've gone to so much trouble. You must not have only found something important, but you must have also felt like you were in great danger. Now I'd better hurry and find that damn Medusa. Sir, dinner is served in the Red Salon. Typical. I'm not hungry. Please give my apologies to all the guests. Uh, Sir Holm requests your presence, sir. Well... I guess I'm just gonna have to wait before going and looking for my Medusa. Tell him I'll be there in a minute. <laughs> 